everybody. We're kicking it on the planet with the classic soulful sounds of Playa, performing from their first solo album. Cheers to you. Let's give it up for Playa on the planet. y'all a little bit about myself. everyone welcome back to planet groove i'm rachel and joining me today on the show with the group playa welcome to the show thank you for having us you guys have some interesting names smoky static and black yeah. tell us how you got those names i got smoky from uh, someone named me after smoky robinson so i went ahead and stuck with the name because yeah. you know, that's an honor to be named after him mm -hmm. he's the man yeah that's true static static well um I heard a rapper not too long ago say, um, I'm a fanatic causing static in the industry. So I was like, that's cool, that's what I want to do. Just have a lot of talk about myself and the group. Right. So, yeah. Black. Back home in Louisville, Kentucky, where we from, some of my homies I run with, it was two dark-skinned guys in the crew. And one of the guys, Dion, was a little bit darker than me, so they called him Blue and they called me Black. All and right. Cap it. Cool names. You know, a lot of people don't know about you guys that you're writers first. You know, and then singers and performers 
second that you've written for a lot of other people out there, and you guys are the masterminds behind Pony for Genuine. Mm. Did you know that it was going to be such a major hit when you wrote it? No, nah, I think it caught everybody off guard. People was telling us it that was it was country. a big song, <laughs> but then some people was telling us it was country. So <laughs> when it start when it start climbing the charts, it was it was a blessing. Mm. Did you initially write it for yourselves, or mm -mm, were we you wrote think it for Genuine? Okay. We um, also sung backgrounds on on it too. Okay. So did you guys know when you were writing it um, that you were going to give it to him? Did you know him beforehand? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. We're working with Genuine and Timbaland and Missy and Magoo since mm -hmm. like 93. Yeah. Okay, like so in how, them days. How did you guys actually get your big break as a crew? Um, was that the ultimate plan from the beginning? Well, back in 91, we um, we was at a concert, a Jodeci Hammer concert, Jodeci mm -hmm. Hammer Boys and Men, 357. And the guy that had been had seen us at one of the security guards that had seen us at a local church singing mm -hmm. told us that Josie was right going to get on a bus. So we asked him, could we go and meet him? Mm -hmm. So we went out there. We seen Dalvin first. Mm -hmm. I, t I motioned for him. He came over. I was like, brother, we sang. Can we just sing for you? Mm -hmm. He was like, well, let me go get my brother. So he went and got Devontae. Yeah. Devontae came out. We sung a couple of their songs. Mm -hmm. And the rest is history. Right. He moved us history up. History is history. Yeah. Yeah. Right, I've heard that he's very much, Devante is very much um, a mentor for you guys, yeah. and you lived with him for a while and spent a lot of time with him. Yeah, all of us did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you still very much read him that way. How much of a part does he still play in your music? Oh, we still talk to Devante. Devante, I feel Jeez. like a whole lot, what I learned, just about everything, what I learned about songwriting mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and everything um, is due to him. Yeah. Did Jodice's music very much influence your style? Just the, just the freedom of... Um, I think KC is one yourself. of the most talented performers, mm -hmm. as well as a singer. So yeah. just, just giving your all, singing with that conviction and compassion. Yeah, yeah. Right. Type of stuff. A lot you're, of soul. You were saying that uh, you were singing in church. Is that right. very much where you guys grew up singing? Yeah, and, uh, yeah. 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 We, yeah. We, we started out as a church group. Yeah. And singing in Louisville at churches, you know, different all churches, the cities and stuff. Right. And then we, you know, talent shows. Right. A lot yeah. of people come on and say that, so it really does pay off to do that. Definitely. Mm -hmm. You just be, it's a good, I think if you come up singing in church, you already have, have a good foundation as far as with performing because you're used to singing in, in church and everything and live band and everything. So right. for what we do, it was a good, it's, that's our, that's our, I'm glad that's, it, was, it was our start because you know what I'm saying. Well, I read somewhere that uh, you guys used to be called Touch of Class. Uh, <laughs> I don't know where you read that at. Ooh, that, Inside that information. Tell that to you. <laughs> Why they do it like that? Psychic. It? <laughs> so why'd you change your name from Touch of Class to Player? Um, I guess it was just the vibe. Actually, Devontae gave us the name. I guess it was just the vibe we gave off when we mm -hmm. was just kicking it with him for all that time. He was yeah. like, y'all got old souls, man. Y'all like some little There's players. Some players. Right. So, so we stuck with it. Okay, do, do you find a lot of groups coming out of Kentucky? No, nah, last group to come out of Kentucky was New Birth. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's, it's not it's not a, a music city. So right. hopefully we, yeah. we plan to be able to open Pick up, up some avenues. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we're going to take a break and come back and talk about the album. Awesome. Cheers to you. All cheers right, to you. cheers to you. We'll be right back on The Planet. We're going to talk about Playa's debut album, Cheers to You, when we come back. Welcome back to the planet, everyone. Players here with us today. Now, you guys saying that you spent a lot of time with Devante and with Jodeci and you know with Timbaland and Missy and everyone. You seem to really have learned a lot about the business before actually coming out. Has that been helpful for you now? Yeah, it's oh, definitely. definitely. Um, I feel like if we had it came out in '95 or '96, we wouldn't have been even close to the level that we on right now in '98. It was a blessing. We got to see everything from the outside looking in. Right. Yeah. And so we just learned off of everybody else's mistakes. Right, right. Yeah. What advice would you give to like a lot of young people coming yeah. up in the business now who it's, just want to sing? Yeah. It's a business. I mean, uh, of show course business. you show business. Of course you're singing and everything, but you got to understand that you're dealing with millions of dollars, and it's a business. Mm -hmm. And and you can make millions of dollars, but by the same token, if you don't know your business, somebody's gonna take out. You're gonna miss out on a lot of it. So. I can tell anybody anything. Just read as much as you can about and, and, and come into it like you know it's a business and right. not just because you see people on videos and stuff. Right. Like, you yeah. got to be, have your hand in, inside everything that's going on in your, in your project. career, in your project career, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Absolutely. Right. A lot of people are on your album from, you know, Missy and Timbaland and 
Okay. Yeah. You're right, it's like a long, right. it's a long yeah. list of people that you, yeah, you got. Was that a problem to get any of those people? Nah. These people that you knew beforehand? Missy and Timbaland Magoo and Genuine, we, we've been working with them since 93. So right. when Legion album times come around, and we all own Timbaland's album. Um, G, we did a duet with G on Timbaland's album. Mm -hmm. Leah's on our album. The, fam the Legion of Doom is what we call ourselves. We just try to keep it in the camp. Keep mm -hmm. everything, everybody's stuff like the same. Not the same exact sound because if you listen to our album, it's different. It's, it's kind of the same. And if you listen to Tim and Magoo's album, right. it's different. Everybody got their own oh, unique style, yeah. you know. So, but it's yeah, cool. Yeah, because it's interesting. The album has a lot of uh, ballads on it, right. Right. but you decided to go with a more up-tempo song for the lead single. Why'd you de decide to do that? We just wanted to do something banging. Make them dance, yeah. Because I feel like a ballad is going to speak for itself. We just mm -hmm. wanted to do something different than what everybody else is doing. We probably right. just want to be different. Right. Like, we want to let our singing speak for itself. Right. Is the writing side something that you, you think you're going to still yeah. have a strong yeah. hand yeah. in? Yeah. We, um, yeah. I feel like the reason why we sang our song so hard and so much compassion. Because we wrote. Because we wrote. Straight from so I know heart. exactly what I, what I was thinking when I wrote that line. Or I know exactly what Static was thinking when he wrote that line. Right. And I was done with him. Right. Do you write specifically for yourselves? I know yeah. you wrote all the album. Right. Or do you write with other people yeah, we, in mind? Uh, yeah. Missy, Missy, our big sister Missy on Gold Man got a girl coming out named Nicole Wright. We did like seven songs on her mm -hmm. album. And then Soldier on Black Ground. And we did some stuff with Quindon. He's coming out. So we just trying to plant seeds for 98 and 99. Right. Yeah. And get players right. saying out there. Is there anyone that you haven't worked with that you, you really want to? KC and JoJo. KC and JoJo. <laughs> I would let him work with Master P, believe it or not. I would mm -hmm. love to do a song with him. Mm -hmm. yeah, he, he rowdy, rowdy. You yeah. know what I'm right. saying? He just bring that fire out of you. Yeah. Like, um, we from Kentucky, and he, he's big in Kentucky, so. Yeah. Right. You know, when you hear a P song, you just gotta. You gotta get up. You gotta get up out of your seat. Right. And there are a lot of groups out there, you know, three guy groups, four guy groups out there. What is it about player that's really gonna keep you guys banging, keep you hot with the audiences. I feel like um, the mere fact that we do do our own music, um, Smokey produced half of the album, mm -hmm. and me and Black wrote the album, with the exception of the song Missy did. Timbaland produced the other half. So it's like, um, it's a, I feel like, I like to describe our album as a breath of fresh air. It's like a whole new wind coming in, of a whole new sound, a sound that you ain't heard before. Mm -hmm. So I feel like if we keep that originality and we stay in the studio and just Keep on working on making hits. Yeah. That will be around for a long time. Do what player do best. Yeah. Not what everybody yeah. Do best. Focus on everybody else. We're just right. trying to player do. Stay true to ourselves. Yeah. Right. All right. Well, cheers to you guys. Cheers to you. <laughs> <laughs> right. The album is in stores right now. Everybody, right, go and pick it up. Go it's pick called it up. Cheers to You. See this is Player. They're going to be doing their thing right after this. Right, Songs so from it. their debut album. Stick around. Yeah. Player baby, coming out. Baby, it's so great. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. I'm Rachel. It's the second hour of Planet Groove, and that means you have a whole nother hour of live music from the R&B trio, Playa. Here they are performing songs from their debut album. It's called Cheers to You, Smokey, Black, and Static. See my love again. 
like home. We driving down I-65. Black. Take them to the verse, baby. Uh. I was daydreaming back down memory lane. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. And how the sun was shining. Yes, it was. Well, yes, Everybody it was.
Welcome back to the planet, everyone. Coming up next, a group of guys who are definitely ready to show their skills with their different flavor on the planet. It's Playa. Check them out. Planet Groove, player got a little message for you. If I was alone with you, there's a couple things I would do. I make you cry and smile, conversation for a while. There'd be no holding back as my fingers rub your back. There's a crowd of my affection. Floating right in your direction And everybody Gotta love somebody Girl, if you want me Come on and get me Oh, everybody Gotta love somebody Now that you got me I hesitate cause I can't wait Until you get that feeling To let me know you will end To lay your body down, down, down And take me for a round I'll be here I Next thing we've had to do, had to pay tribute to one of our idols, Stevie Wonder. And if you know these songs, feel free to sing along at home.
Welcome back to the planet, everyone. I'm Rachel. Coming up, it's the trio out of Louisville, Kentucky. They're called Leia, and here they are performing Miss Parker and also a little bit of what they grew up with, a gospel medley. It's Leia. Check them out.
her get freaky. Smoke too much weed for she cheeky. Miss Parker got the marrow weekly. Give me one till I'm sicky. And if you want a battle, come and check it out. Welcome back to the planet. We want to thank you all so much for being with us here for Players Performance. You guys have great energy. You really put it on. The CD is in stores right now. It's called Cheers to You. Go and pick it up. I know you're going to take us out of the show with a little something first. Right. We want to give some shout outs to some people. Big Worm, Big Box at, down at the at the Celebrities Barber Shop and Hack. Joe down in Baton Rouge. Yeah, all my homies back in Louisville, Kentucky, Victory Park. Yeah. Mama, we are everybody. We love y'all. T-Rome, Lil Steve. Half Pint, Kyrie, Chuck. Be Rich, Corey everybody. Black. Everybody. <laughs> anybody, and anybody who they forgot, right? <laughs> All right, take us out of the show, do your thing. Playa on the planet. Woo! Uh, what you say? Na, 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 na. I say na, 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 na. You say na, 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 na. Uh, uh, I say na, 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 You say uh, 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 I say do it, baby, stick it, baby, do it, baby, stick it, baby, do it, baby, stick it. Uh, smoke the beat, mm -hmm. work. Oh, 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 something in the way the music making me feel. I can't stay in one place, I can't keep still. And if you ain't gonna dance, then baby, don't hinder me. Yeah. I'm on the floor, cause something's got no
I said the single.